Georgia Southern baseball is well into eight games since the season has begun. It's not been perfect, but there's still plenty of baseball to be played. Your newsroom's Justin Helms caught up with the team to see how they're doing so far. The Eagles got off to a rough start in the 2022 season. After upsetting Georgia Tech in the home opener, the team went 1-2 and two against UCF in the weekend series. Eagles fans still showed up and showed out with an average attendance of just over 2,000 happy for baseball back in the burrow. Fans like families of players Jason Swan and Noah Searcy who traveled to watch the Eagles play. Since it's, you know, from, Jack from Jacksonville, we try to make every home game at least. And you know, when they have playoffs, we do go to the playoff game. So we're here quite often. Both families have had many important moments in their five years cheering for the Eagles. But their most memorable ones were made to go. Noah and Jason's known each other either through travel balls, uh, high school, played in the same team. So just coming out here, uh, watching them play together. It was uh, one of those things we were fortunate enough to be able to, to get them to come to Georgia Southern. Seeing high school travel ball teammates play together, that's been pretty special. So Justin, what does the team need to do to have a successful series this weekend versus Miami of Ohio? Yeah, well, if you remember just last year, this team was in sort of a similar spot. They were two and five coming out of the month of February, going into their midweek matchup against North Florida. They won that game. They won eight more of their next 10 and went on to be runner ups in the Sun Belt Championship. So stick around with this team and I think they'll be getting in the win category very soon. I know Eagle fans think that this year's team is talented enough to repeat last year's streak. Thanks, Justin.